get ready for dictation please 5 seconds start madam the second point is in regard to taxes under article 269 whether we have referred the matter for the consideration of the 8th finance commission we have referred it and the 8th finance commission will explore the possibility the scope of this particular area whether we can increase the revenues of the states i do agree with the observation made by the honorable members that is a very important area on which the states are dependent if you look at the figure which we are having as sales tax revenue you will find that from the figure of rupees 965 crores in 1972 i am talking of all the states taken together sales tax revenue has gone up today to rupees 4000 crores so it is not simply possible to do away with it and that is not the intention of the government of india when we had the conference of the state chief ministers it was not our intention to put the state governments to difficulties we assured them that we would fully compensate what they are getting today and that not only we are going to give them fullest compensation but at the same time we will see that there is a regular growth in it simply it is not merely the monetary consideration after all the state governments thought that this is an area in which they are the masters and why should they like to part with that power but on the other hand those who are strongly advocating abolition of sales tax have a point because it is so much misused there is so much evasion avoidance and irritation therefore i do not say that there is no point from either side the committee which is working under the chairmanship of pandit kamlapati tripathi is not to abolish sales tax it is to bring five other specific items which are agreed upon at the state chief ministers conference within the purview of additional excise therefore that committee is not looking into the abolition of sales tax we we provided various alternative suggestions to the state gov state chief ministers that instead of the present sales tax structure we can have some type of additional excise duty or some other type of duty which will protect 
the state's interests would ensure the present revenues and would take care of prospective growth but at the same time would be less irritant less cumbersome and less torturous and we have not yet been able to convince the state governments till now the original proposal was on the entire structure but when they did not agree thereafter it was decided that at least these five items of importance should be brought within the purview of the additional excise duty in lieu of the sales tax this is the position but i do feel that a stage has been reached when we shall have to say thus far and no further it is true this is an area of concern but at the same time if you find that on certain items the sales tax is 20% when the excise duty is 8 or 9% then it would appear to be almost exorbitant i would not like to go into the other aspects which have been mentioned by some of the honorable members only one point i would like to submit most respectfully for the consideration of the honorable members i have not stopped after taking the responsibility of rupees 1700 crores on my own hand and i know all the honorable members would catch hold of me when i present the next year's budget and say why your deficit has gone up so much i <clears throat> projected my deficit at rupees 1365 crores but by one stroke of pen by taking the responsibility of the state governments it has increased by more than rupees 1700 crores i have worked out the overdrafts which stood on 31st march 1992 and i discussed with the chief ministers i am afraid none of the chief minister shared your views not even the chief minister of west bengal he wanted that it should be over a period of 7 years moratorium should be for a period of 7 years i have given a period of 7 years what would have been their fear if the old formula would have continued one third of the overdraft which stood on 31st march 1982 would have been adjusted in the year 1992 93 itself instead of that he is not to pay anything in this year also and he is not to pay anything in the coming year <clears throat> the first installment <clears throat> falls due in the year 19 84 85 only 
and subsequently for 5 years repayments of overdrafts can be made by the state governments in case any state government fails to make payment because of compelling reasons waiver of the overdue amount can be considered on case to case basis